Hi, my name is Christopher Pritchard and I would like to introduce you to Relay Simdis 4.10. Among many improvements and new features, we have two new main features, the in-feed events and the new asynchronous motor model, which I would like to introduce you to now. The asynchronous motor, also called induction motor, can be added like any other element in Relay SimTest. Most of the settings can be found on the nameplate of the motor and can be added in a convenient dialog, which also shows the characteristic of the motor for verification. Many different scenarios can be simulated. For example, a successful motor startup where we show the speed and the torque of the motor. At the same time, you can see the startup current, which is then simulated to the relay, and how this startup current slowly decays when the motor is up to speed. Other scenarios can be sudden changes to the load. In this case, the load is increased till we have a load jam at the motor, which the relay responded to with a trip. But where Relay SimTest really starts to shine is when it comes to testing bus transfer schemes. We can simulate a sequence of, for example, a fault on the infeed, the isolation of the faulted infeed, followed by the transfer to the backup infeed. While testing this sequence, we can also not only verify that this happens as fast as possible, but we can also see that the transfer happened without significant jumps in the current or significant increases on the torque of the motor. Those were the motor simulation features. Let's now have a look at the new infeed events. We support four types of infeed events. Voltage change events, frequency ramp events, phase ramp events and phase slip events. The later one is especially used for power swing simulations to test power swing blocking functions. The other events, let's take the frequency ramp event for example, can be used to ramp the quantity from a certain value to a different value, either up or down over time, to therefore test different schemes with it. There are many applications for these events, for example, testing rate of change of frequency events, under frequency load shedding schemes, under voltage, over voltage protections, and much, much more. I hope you're equally excited as I am about Relay SimTest 4.10. So please go ahead, download the software and have fun.